One of my favorite ingredients in our products, and so we have to give it some love here for a minute, is Diffuporin. Yes. So the Diffuporin, yet another ingredient, very unique to the industry. <clears throat> There's not many out there that you can, that can make the claim that it does. When you look at Diffuporin, it is marketed um, as an intrinsic hydrator. And when we look at hydrating the skin, the primary focus is making sure that we are retaining the moisture, the water that's already inside the body, right? I think the general public has this notion that we put water into the skin when we're hydrating. It does, really doesn't work that way. We're trying to retain and maintain our intrinsic hydration. We're constantly losing water through the surface of the skin through trans epidermal water loss or TEWL. Um, but when we use a moisturizer, we're typically using emollients and humectants, things that are designed to slow down that moisture loss. Emollients are um, uh, oil, right? Lipid-based moisturizers. Humectants are typically water-based uh, moisturizers. And we use those together in conjunction in our hydrating products to help to slow that process down. Incidentally, part of our circadian rhythm Right, we're losing more moisture in the evening than we are during the day. In fact, 9 to 11 p.m., you're losing more moisture through the surface of the skin than you are any other time during the day. Diffuporin helps to increase a, an organelle in the membrane of epidermal keratinocytes called aquaporin channels. Right, and aquaporin channels are found in skin cells, but in many other cells found throughout the body, and they help to regulate water diffusion through the cell membrane, right? So if there's not enough water in the cell, it'll help to bring water in. If there's too much water within the cell, it'll help to diffuse water out. And even more importantly, it helps to bring water soluble materials, including vitamin C, into the cell if it's necessary. So when you look at chronically dry skin conditions like psoriasis or eczema, they have a marked absence of these aquaporin channels. So by applying this ingredient, it helps to increase the number of these aquaporin channels found within the cell. So it's a really good way of intrinsically increasing hydration capacity. We still combine it with those traditional emollients and humectants to slow that moisture loss, but it's helping to increase water retention underneath the surface of the skin, which is incredible. And I said, like I said, there's only a couple of ingredients that actually are able to make that claim. This is a peptide, but there's a couple of extracts that have been shown to be able to do this, but this is by far um, the most impressive when it comes to the research and the data that's been shown and how effective it actually is. Truly is. And so what products does Circadia carry that you can find this so amazing home, ingredient? Yeah, the home care product is, the big one is the Aquaporin Hydrating Cream. And I'm right there, it says it right in the name, Aquaporin Hydrating Cream, so that everyone knows that it's helping to increase uh, Aquaporin channel presence. Um, we also have it in the um, Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask, so it helps to increase the presence there.